In education news, Baldwin County Public School teachers are learning how the school system will not only protect the students, but them as well during the reopening process. Schools are scheduled to reopen August 12th, but teachers return to work on August 3rd, which is a week from Monday. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown has a look at what safety measures are in place to protect everyone on campus. He's live tonight with the latest. Blake? Hey, Devin. Yeah, of course, teachers uh, want to make sure that their students are safe when they return to class next month, but they also want to make sure they're safe as well when they walk back through these doors. We're opening schools unless my board gives me further direction. For now, that's the plan. Superintendent Eddie Tyler confirms about 60 teachers are retiring before the new school year, some of them concerned about the virus and what could happen. When you send your children to traditional school, accept the risk that your child will come in contact with the coronavirus. If a student is showing symptoms of the virus, they'll be sent to the school nurse and placed in an isolation room while a parent is notified. Throughout each day, classrooms, restrooms, and cafeterias will be sanitized, but the school system is going a step further. There will be a shutdown time in the evenings that I'm expecting every principal to do. Teachers will be asked to leave by a certain time each evening so buildings can be properly cleaned. 1,500 substitute teachers are also on standby if needed. Superintendent Tyler says they're still hiring, too. We have opened up over 45 new teaching positions, and they're almost completely filled. Close to $3 million has been spent on masks, face guards, and other safety resources to keep students and faculty safe. A warehouse is filled here locally, and officials plan to double order items to keep a full supply. Now, the superintendent does tell us that 85% of uh, parents will be bringing their children back here to a brick and mortar school come August 12th. Live tonight in Baldwin County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.